Petronas Twin Towers. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The Petronas Towers, located in Kuala Lumpur, were designed to herald the emergence of Malaysia into the global economy and act as an easily identifiable symbol for the fast-growing country. The development's scope, scale, and design reflect the desire to create a representative manifestation of local traditions and ingenuity. In particular, the design is based on Islamic geometry, a reflection of Malaysia's cultural heritage. The buildings are perhaps most noteworthy for the sky bridge that connects them on the 41st and 42nd floors. Although there is no structural benefit to the connection, it offers more than just an architectural flourish. By linking the two buildings together, the facilities of each tower around that level can be shared, including a conference room, prayer room, and executive dining room. Additionally, the sky bridge is an integral part of the tower's fire evacuation strategy. International Commerce Center Hong Kong, China At 98% occupancy, the International Commerce Center houses some of the most prominent financial institutions in the world. The building is routinely recognized as a paragon of good management, from a commercial, environmental, and community standpoint. The level of energy efficiency achieved by the International Commerce Center is unusual for a tall building, and significant investments have been made in improving energy performance over the years, especially since adapting the ISO 50001 Energy Management System certification in 2011. This commitment was followed by more than 50 advanced energy saving measures. The Energy Utilization Index of International Commerce Center's energy performance in 2013 was 157.3 kWh per square meter, placing it among the top 90% of energy-efficient commercial buildings. A computerized building management system manages and controls the energy use in the building. The total energy consumption of the project was reduced from 56.3 million kWh in 2012 to 49.9 million kWh in 2013 a reduction of 6.4 million kilowatt hour or 11% Shanghai World Financial Center Shanghai China The Shanghai World Financial Center is a symbol of commerce and culture that speaks to the city's emergence as a global capital located in Shanghai's Pudong district the mixed-used Shanghai World Financial Center is a vertical city, containing 62 office floors, conference facilities, urban retail and dining spaces, and a 174-room 5-star Park Hyatt Hotel at the top the world's highest hotel from the 79th to 93rd floors. Above the hotel, at the 94th to 100th floors, is a visitor square and observatory. Shaped by the intersection of two sweeping arcs and a square prism shapes representing ancient Chinese symbols of heaven and earth, respectively the tower's tapering form supports programmatic efficiencies, from large floor plates at its base for offices to rectilinear floors near the top for hotel rooms. Its boldest feature, the 164-foot-wide portal carved through its upper levels relieves the enormous wind pressures on the building. The project activates the ground plane through function-specific entrance volumes, for example, hotel, office and retail, that extend from its stone-clad base. To further connect the activities of the building to the city, the retail volume is oriented toward a public park plan for an adjacent site. Taipei 101 Taipei, Taiwan Standing in the Xinyi district of Taipei, an area known for its financial services and vibrant shopping malls, Taipei 101 represents a worldwide precedent for sustainable skyscraper development. It achieved a LEED Platinum certification for operations and maintenance in 2011, an impressive feat for a tower of its size and complexity. The tower rises from its base in a series of eight-story modules that flare outward, evoking the form of a Chinese pagoda. The top of each module houses mechanical floors that accommodate garbage systems, ventilation equipment, water storage, and MEP services. Near the top, a smaller tower caps the structure, forming a pinnacle that has become a familiar sight for the city. The facade of the tower features double-paned green glass curtain walls that are highly reflective and block solar heat gain by 
Other sustainable features include energy-efficient luminaries, custom lighting controls, low-flow water fixtures, and a smart energy management and control system. One World Trade Center New York, United States of America One World Trade Center recaptures the New York skyline, reasserts downtown Manhattan's preeminence as a business center, and establishes a new civic icon for the country. It is a memorable architectural landmark for the city and the nation, and connects seamlessly to the city with linkages to an extensive underground transportation network. Extending the long tradition of American ingenuity in high-rise construction, the design solution is an innovative mix of architecture, structure, urban design, safety, and sustainability. The tower is a bold icon in the sky that acknowledges the adjacent memorial. While the memorial, carved out of the earth, speaks of the past and of remembrance, One World Trade Center speaks about the future and hope as it rises upward in a faceted form filled with, and reflecting, light. This tower evokes the slender, tapering triangular forms of great New York City icons such as the Chrysler Building and Empire State Building and replaces almost one quarter of the total office space lost on September 11, 2001 in a single building. Mecca Royal Clock Tower Mecca, Saudi Arabia at the heart of the holiest Islamic city, Mecca Royal Clock Tower brings an air of modernization to the bustling historic center of Mecca. The tower was developed as a component of the King Abdulaziz Endowment Project and provides comfortable accommodations for devout Muslims that make the journey to the city every year during the Hajj period. It is conveniently located adjacent to the Grand Mosque, which can accommodate up to 2 million worshippers over the course of the event. The clock tower stands in the center of a high-rise complex called Abri al Bait. Six smaller high-rises surround it at heights varying and accommodate both residential and hotel uses. True to its name, four colossal clock faces are mounted near the top of the tower. These clocks hold the record for both the largest and highest in the world. At night, the clock faces are illuminated by one million LED lights that transform the tower into a green and white beacon. Writing is inscribed above each clock, with the words Allah Akbar on the north and south sides, while the Quran adorns the east and west sides. The spire of the tower features a spherical observation center at its base. The spire is capped with a shining mosaic gold crescent that weighs 35 metric tons. A number of cultural amenities are present in the upper levels of the tower, including a center for lunar observation and a cosmology museum. Since a great deal of residents and guests in the tower perform prayers five times a day, innovative solutions were provided in the elevator systems that transport people in a smooth and efficient manner. Group control systems were implemented that adapt to the travel patterns of passengers, intelligently anticipating their general location and destination. Using this technology, up to 75,000 people can exit all seven buildings without issue. Shanghai Tower Shanghai, China Is the third tower in the trio of signature skyscrapers at the heart of Shanghai's new Jiazui Finance and Trade Zone, Shanghai Tower embodies a new prototype for tall buildings. Placed in close proximity to Jin Mao Tower and Shanghai World Financial Center, the new tower rises high above the skyline, its curved facade and spiraling form symbolizing the dynamic emergence of modern China but its twisting form goes beyond just creating a unique appearance. Wind tunnel tests confirm a 24% savings in structural wind loading when compared to a rectangular building of the same height. Construction work on the tower began in November 2008. Following its topping out on August 3, 2013, the Shanghai Tower is currently the tallest building in China and the second tallest in the world, surpassed only by the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. It was scheduled to open to the public in June 2015, but this has not happened as of late February 2016. It is also China's tallest structure of any kind, surpassing the 600-meter or 1,969-feet Canton Tower in Guangzhou completed in 2010. Burj Khalifa Dubai, United Arab Emirates 
Burj Khalifa, known as Burj Dubai before its inauguration, is a megadal skyscraper in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. It is the tallest artificial structure in the world, standing at 829.8 meters. Burj Khalifa's architecture has embodied references to Islamic architecture and yet reflects the modern global community it is designed to serve. The building's Y-shaped plan provides the maximum amount of perimeter for windows in living spaces without developing internal unusable area. As the tapering tower rises, setbacks occur at the ends of each wing in an upward spiraling pattern that decreases the mass of the tower as the height increases. These setbacks were modeled in the wind tunnel to minimize wind forces. The design of the tower was significantly influenced by its performance with respect to the wind, in both its shaping and orientation. The building went through many wind tunnel tests and design iterations to develop optimum performance.